So now this is the second part of uh, Gauss Seidel method. Uh, here I will explain. Uh, um, first, see this question which is given is not a diagonally dominant form. So it means we have to convert this one in diagonally dominant form. Why? See, here x1 coefficient. What is diagonally dominant form? Diagonally dominant form is aii mod is greater than or equal to summation j varying from 1 to n i not equal to j aij mod. Greater than equal to means diagonally dominant form and only greater means strictly diagonally dominant form. So for 1 1, so a 1 1, i value 1, a 1 1 is what? Mod greater than equal to a i1 a1 means a12 plus a12 this is satisfying or not no because uh, a12 is minus 6 when it's take you take more it's a 6 plus 2 8 and a11 is 3 so 3 is not greater than 8 it means this given system is not in diagonally dominant form. So what happens if we not write this system in diagonally dominant form? So you can verify if you go directly and apply the same procedure what already I explained in gauss seidel method. I mean from first equation you calculate x1, from second you calculate x2 and from third you calculate x and then go ahead so with the starting values this then what you observe uh, you will find out values of uh, x11 x21 x3 one and then x12 x22 x32 and when you move forward you will find out uh, it's diverge diversity is there uh, solution will not converge. So again uh, one question is there what is the meaning of convergence? So actually convergence meaning if alpha is exact root, if alpha is exact root of given system for some xi and we perform iteration so first we calculated x1, then x2, then x3 for any iteration process. And if alpha is exact root of that, then we say that iteration method converge. If and only if when we take a limit, i tends to uh, if you put k here x k. So k tends to infinity x k value is equal to alpha. So limit k tends to infinity x k value is equal to alpha. Means when we perform iteration how many times? Infinite times it will converge to alpha only, where alpha is zero. This means uh, this iteration method converge. Now one more thing uh, I will explain here. When we terminate the, our procedure, means when we stop the, any iteration method. So uh, for that purpose, uh, suppose uh, we require solution up to accuracy of two decimal places. Then two de decimal places means xi k plus 1 when you subtract for xi k its value less than 
पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव और टू और वाट एवर बट फर्स्ट टू डेसिमल पॉइंट्स मस्ट बी जीरो जीरो इट सपोज बीन क्वेट एक्यूरेट अप टू थ्री डेसिमल प्लेसेज देन इट्स वैल्यू लेस देन इक्वल टू पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव एंड दैट मच सो वेन टू सक्सेसिव आइट्रेशन वैल्यूज डिफरेंस लेस देन दिस वन फॉर टू डेसिमल प्लेसेज एक्ट सी वी हैव टू इट इज लेस देन पॉइंट जीरो जीरो फाइव एंड फॉर थ्री पॉइंट जीरो ट्रिपल जीरो फाइव सो इन दैट वे वी टर्मिनेट If we require, if we get required accuracy. So now you understand what is the dominant dominant form. What is the actual meaning of uh, convergence of any iteration method, and uh, when we terminate any iteration method. So these three concepts very important for numerical analysis. Now we will do the question. So what I am telling, if we not reduce. Or we not write this equation, these equations into diagonally dominant form. Then what happen? Nothing. Uh, when you go and when you calculate iterations, so you will find out after two and three iterations, solution will be diverge. It will not converge any values. So you will check out this one. Now I am going to solve this question. So for this question. What we do? First, we write in diagonally dominant form. So, uh, how we write diagonally dominant form? Just interchange the order. See, if we put this here, x one coefficient is how much? Minus four. If we take mod, it's a four. And what is x two coefficient one? X three coefficient one. So here, if we interchange first into second. So. Interchange the equations one and two. Its order only is interchange. Then what happens? Minus four x one plus x two minus x three is equal to minus eight. And for second, uh, and for third. Now, friends. Now you can check. This is diagonally dominant form. Yes. This is. What is coefficient of x one? Four. Because mod means uh, minus four becomes four, and uh, one plus one. So four is greater than two. Correct. This is uh, three. This is two. Three plus two five. It is less than six. Correct. And uh, one and three four is less than seven. Is it is a strictly dominant form. It is a. It is in. Strictly. Dominant. Form. Doubly dominant form. So, uh, hope you understand uh, what is the meaning of doubly uh, dominant form. Now, uh, one thing very clear: solution definitely exists. Now, we will uh, move forward uh, to find the solution. What is the procedure? Procedure you have, we, we all know. Uh, from first, we calculate x one value. From second, we calculate x two value. From third equation, we calculate x three value. And we write iteration uh, formula for that. So, what is x one value? Is A uh, minus a minus x two plus x three divided by minus four. This is x two value. What is x two value? Twenty three minus three x one minus two x three divided by Minus six. What is x three value? Seventeen minus x one plus three x two divided by seven. 
No, we, uh, this value will calculate, so we can write I artisan formula for that. So what we write? Xi k plus 1, here 1, uh, k, k. For x2, k plus 1, x1 we include value we got, so we put here k plus 1. For x3, we have same value, k. For x3, k plus 1, x1 we got input value. For x2 also we got input value. So this is a iteration formula for this system of equation. Now put k value 0. So what we got? x1 1 is equal to minus 8 minus x2 0. x2 0 is given that is minus 3.1 plus x3 0 that is plus 0 0.9 divided by minus 4 and uh, the value is when you simplify you will get the value so what we get this is plus 4 this value is 1 and 0 uh, easily you can calculate minus minus plus so it's a 4 minus 8 plus 4 minus 4 minus 4 1 now we are going to calculate x2 1 because k value 0 is like x2 1 is 23 minus 3 x1 k value 0 uh, so x1 1 x1 1 we calculated that is called 1 minus 2 x3 0 x3 0 is 0 0.9 divided by minus 6 and the value is so value is minus 3.0333 easily you can get using calculator now what is x3 1 x3 1 is 17 minus x1 1 x1 1 is 1 means 1 plus 3 x2 also we got input value that is called minus 3.0333 divided by 7 and the value is just simplify using calculator 0 0.9857 so we got uh, first iteration value x1 1 x2 1 x3 1 now we will move for a second iteration value. First is not required, this is okay. So for k value 1, for k1 means x1 2 we will get. What is x1 2? k value 1, so minus 8 minus x2 1. What is x2 1? x1 is uh, minus 3.0333 plus x3 1. What is x3 1? This is uh, 0.9857 divided by minus uh, 4. So what is the value uh, which you can calculate easily by calculator? So value is uh, 0 0.9953. And now we are going to calculate x2. x2 means we got input value of x1. So x2 2 means k value 1 so 23 minus 3 x1 2 x1 2 is 0 0.9953 minus 2 x3 previous value it was k value 1 so 0.9 857 divided by minus 6. Uh, please calculate and tell me the answer. So when it's uh, minus 3.0014. So now we are going to calculate x2. x2 is 17 minus x12. So here value is I think uh, 7 now. Uh, so x2 is 17 minus 
x12 x12 is 599 i3 plus 3 times x22 minus 3.0071 divided by 7 so just simplify and tell me the value uh, because if you can calculate by calculator uh, 0 0.9956 please verify uh, because it's a matter of calculator only uh, not any uh, procedural things required here so please do it so this is second iteration over we got x12 x22 and x22 now we are going to calculate x3 iteration so for x3 iteration So you will uh, do it by same way. So I am going to write what is the values of after third iteration for k value 2 value of x13, x23 and x33 are uh, I am going to write directly but you can do it using these uh, values. So values is so for k is equal to 2 means for third addition value we got this result and similarly when we go for, for k is equal to 3 means uh, for fourth addition we will get the value x1 4, x2 4 and x3 4 as so please uh, do it and tell me answer so uh, this is the answer of the fourth iteration so please do it by using calculator now see uh, can we stop or we can uh, go for next iteration see the difference x14 and x13 difference when you find the difference so value is 0 0.0010 what is the difference here 0 0.0012 what is the difference here 0 0.00 Zero 03 it means it is less than 0 0.005 so it means we can stop here it means our addition process terminate we can terminate here so i uh, hope you understand this is a complete introduction of both serial method so uh, what is required how we do please watch and share and subscribe this video to everyone thank you